Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We certainly do thank and praise the Lord for another day's journey. We thank the Lord for how he has blessed us uh, to come together one more time to be a part of the word of God. Uh, the scripture says that, and it talks about that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And we certainly do thank and praise the Lord that he's able to feed us and not just give us cookies and cake, but give us uh, the things that we need that are nutritious for us to grow. God expects us to grow. And the only way to grow is to receive the word of God into your life and to be able to apply it at all times. So uh, that should be our goal and our mission to receive and to apply uh, God's word. And in order to receive it, you gotta be open to it. And uh, there's some scriptures that we taught a while ago uh, about wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and perception. And um, when you receive God's word, you have to process it in your own mind uh, and be led by the spirit of God to know how to apply it at the necessary time. Because there's different scriptures to apply at different times. And that's what the word calls rightly dividing the word of truth. And so let us, let us, let us uh, be sensitive to the, the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost as it leads us and guides us. And as we receive uh, with meekness, the Bible says, receive with meekness the engrafted word of God uh, so that we can grow thereby. So our object and our, our, our aim is to grow in God and in growing the grace of God and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So as we uh, ponder those things, we want to certainly go before the Lord in prayer. Uh, we want to remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Uh, pray that, you know, um, there could be an opportunity of great social change and social justice and things such as that uh, in uh, the United States. Uh, let us pray that those things happen. And you know, uh, when good things happen, there's people always there to kind of derail it. Uh, so let us, uh, not everybody is for uh, uh, the righteousness or being right and doing right. So let, let us pray that movement thus far, so if you want to call it that, uh, the change, not be derailed, but it take, take some effect and have some reprieve um, on, uh, on social justice and social change. God is for social justice and social change. Uh, one way to, to realize that is um, if you even look in the Old Testament wherein God, um, he had a, a process for feeding the poor. The, the children of Israel, they were to till their grounds for seven years and then leave it, I believe it was for seven years for the poor. Uh, whatever grew um, at that particular time, the poor had an opportunity to come and glean from that land. And that was God's plan of social justice, uh, social fairness, to look out, welfare, if you allow me to say it that way. God has a plan. So let us, let us um, uh, remember men and women and children everywhere, as we already said. Uh, pray that uh, our service, our Bible study, um, is, Lord, grant the door of utterance and that we will receive it. And so to the growing and the saving of our soul. Uh, are we having any other prayer requests as before we go before the Lord? All right, we want to ask the church to stand. Uh, and we want us to certainly do welcome our Facebook friends that have tuned on with us on today. Uh, we thank God for your comments. We thank God for you tuning in and uh, being with us. One day I'm going to have me a big screen. <laughs> thank you, Lord. I'm going to have me a big screen where I can uh, listen, uh, read all the comments that are coming on and uh, as we uh, are going through our Bible study. So let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly do thank you and praise you for your grace, your mercy, your loving, your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for being a blessing unto us. 
for being a very present help in the time of trouble. We thank you, Lord, for being our sustainer, our helper, in the name of Jesus, being our light and our salvation. Lord, we thank and praise you, Lord, for your protection all day long uh, because of your mercies that we are not consumed because your compassions, they fail not. They are new every morning, Lord. I thank you. We thank you, Lord, for great is thy faithfulness. Lord, you're faithful to us. And Lord, we acknowledge it in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. We thank you for access to the kingdom. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the mind and the, and the opportunity, Lord, to come boldly to the throne of grace, that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. We thank you, Lord, for each and every soul that is under the sound of our voice. Hallelujah, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you send forth your healing, that you send forth deliverance, that you send forth grace and strength. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you send forth a word of understanding, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that may build us up, hallelujah, that we may apply it to our lives. Lord, we pray for wisdom, we pray for knowledge and understanding. Hallelujah, we pray that the Holy Ghost have its way. Hallelujah. Send a revival. Send an anointing. Send strength, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Send unity to the body of Christ. Hallelujah, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that you blood wash us, that you cleanse us, and that you purge us from all unrighteousness, every word, thought, deed, and every secret thought. Hallelujah. As we lift up the name of Jesus. And, Lord, we'll be mindful to give you glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah, now and forevermore, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. The Bible says, saints, don't stop praying, uh, for the Lord is nigh. He said, saints, don't stop praying, he'll hear your cry. For the Lord, uh, he, he'll, he'll, he promised, amen, hallelujah, and he'll answer you. Saints, don't stop praying. Uh, let us look to the book of Ephesians. Uh, chapter number six. Thank you, Jesus, as we are uh, finishing up our, our section on the book of Ephesians. And we want to certainly uh, drop down to uh, Ephesians chapter six and uh, verse number 10. As we're talking about putting on the whole armor of God. And it's, it's essential for us to understand that God has provided us armor. And if God has provided armor, it's necessary. And um, because it's necessary, it's something that we must do. Uh, if you're going to uh, be in the race, if you're going to be in the battle, if you're going to be in the fight, uh, you must put on this armor. It's not an option. It's not an option. You must put on this armor. And those that don't put on the armor, um, they'll perish, simply. I'm just trying to make it plain. They won't last. Uh, the enemy will overtake them. Amen? And you've got to keep the armor on. Um, if you can have it on today, but if you take it off tomorrow, you are susceptible to the enemy. And what I'm realizing as I was studying these verses is that um, God gives us this armor so that we'll be able to stand and to withstand all the trials and wiles of the devil. And if, if you don't put this armor on and keep it on, the enemy will be able to overthrow you. Now, the reason why I say that is because... Um, a lot of people have started out and have done well, ran well. Paul says, you have run well, but uh, what has hindered you? Who have bewitched you? And people get hindered, people get bewitched because they don't have the armor on. They, the enemy has found a, a, an area to penetrate. His name means Diablos. That's what devil means, Diablos, which means penetrate. And that's what the enemy does. He wants to penetrate your mind, your way of thinking, and your conduct, uh, your lifestyle. He's after your, 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 your body. He's after everything that pertains to you. 
and life and godliness. He's after your friends. He's after anything that's connected to you to get you off base, to, to get you uh, uh, off track. Uh, to, he's, he's trying to sow a seed all the time uh, of doubt and discouragement in your mind. He's always after you. So, so let us not uh, be uh, ignorant, as the scripture says, of Satan's devices. Because he's divisive. Uh, he, he has ways. He's trickery. The Bible describes the devil as, uh, as the most susceptible beast in the field. Means he's crafty. Amen. Don't think that the devil's not crafty. Uh, he's, he's, he has some uh, uh, ungodly wisdom. He has ungodly wisdom. Not righteous wisdom. He has some ungodly wisdom. So he knows how to, to bring about attacks. But, you know, um, having said all that, I'm not trying to give a whole bunch of glory to the enemy. But I'm, uh, we got to make it plain that, that we, he's a formidable foe. And the only way to be able to withstand his attacks and to be able to continue standing is if you put on your protection, your whole armor of God. Uh, God supplies the armor, but you have to put it on. You have to put it on. You have to put it on. God supplies. You have to do something uh, to be able to stand. Uh, and you have to put it on. All right? So we see here then, uh, Paul says in verse number 6, uh, I mean verse number, uh, chapter number 6 and verse number 10. He says, finally, uh, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Uh, he's saying here is the conclusion. He's, he's concluding his epistle. Uh, this is the final uh, chapter, if you will, of, of, of his epistle. He says, finally, my brethren, uh, be strong in the Lord, meaning, meaning uh, be empowered by God. Be empowered by the Lord. You can't be empowered by yourself. Uh, uh, it's, like, it's like a car that, uh, that's driven, but, but what, what empowers that car is the battery. Uh, and you have to have a strong battery in order uh, to have a strong connection for your car to operate. You have to have a strong connection with God in order for you to operate in this spiritual journey, in this spiritual battle. Uh, you have to have a strong connection. Uh, one thing that the, uh, uh, if you ever, I was never in warfare, I'll say if you ever was in warfare, I was never in warfare. But um, uh, one thing that I know that the enemy looks for um, the, the, the people that are in the field that have the, uh, the, the ability to communicate with the other generals that are not in the field. And one thing that the enemy looks to do is to destroy the communication of those that are on the front line of the battle. Because if you don't have communication with your higher ups, then it's chaos. Uh, so, so one thing that the enemy tries to do is to disrupt your communication with God. Can disrupt your communication with the Savior. So, so you have to have a strong communication, a strong connection, so that you uh, will be able to be strong in the Lord, notice, and in the power of His might. In other words, you have to be empowered by God in order to live this life. Uh, to be saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, uh, but you have to be operating under his authority. Amen? That was one thing that Jesus did for us uh, back uh, in, in the Garden of Gethsemane when he went to Calvary. He restored our authority. The devil had stolen our authority uh, way back in the Garden of Eden. He took it. He took it when he tricked Eve, and, and man lost some things. They lost their communication with God. They, they lost their morality with God. They, they lost their uh, 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 worship with God. And Jesus, he reestablished all of that. They lost their kingdom priority, their kingdom purpose, their kingdom authority. But God, but Jesus, when he died on the cross and rose again, 
on the third day, that resurrection, he restored everything that we had lost. Amen? All of that power, all of that anointing, all of that authority. So you have to walk in that authority. Not in your own authority. Not in your own ability. When I say your own authority, I'm referring to the flesh. Amen? You have authority in the flesh. Uh, but we know that if you walk in the flesh or live in the flesh, you shall what? Die. die. Absolutely die. So that's why he said walk in the spiritual authority. Walk in the spirit uh, and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. I'm getting, I'm feeling a little happy up in here. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said walk in that. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what we should be walking in. Thank you, Lord. We walk in the spirit. We live in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. And we won't fulfill the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Hallelujah. If we walk in the spirit, walk in the anointing. Amen? Amen. So, so notice what he said, verse number uh, 11. He said, now notice, he says, put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now notice what he says. Is that, that put on, that's, that's an adjective, that's something that you have to do, amen? Now notice how he's describing it. He says, put on half the armor. No, he said, put on what? The whole armor. Put on the whole armor of God that ye might be able to do what? Stand against the wiles of the devil. Now, who supplies the armor? God. So you have to put on God's armor. Amen. Uh, there's a scripture. I was going to go to it, but um, uh, I don't know. Deacon Fields, will you go to that, read that scripture from it? Uh, I believe it's 2 Corinthians chapter number 10 and uh, verse number 4. 2 Corinthians chapter number 10 and verse number 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, uh -huh. but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Mm -hmm. All right, read that again. I'm sorry, D. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, uh -huh. but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Now, now let's, let's, let's as, as, as the old Bishop Ratcliffe would say, let us masticate that, uh, chew on it just for a moment. He says, read the weapons of our warfare uh -huh. are not carnal. Now notice, the weapons which we use to fight, that, that tells you something, that, that you are in a fight. And if you're in a fight, you need what? Some weapons. Uh, you need some weapons. Uh, and he says, the weapons that we use are not uh, carnal are not fleshly, uh, are not, are not, are not uh, worldly. Uh, then we, don't, we, we don't fight like the world. Uh, we got to fight this fight in a spiritual way using the weapons that God provides. Notice what he says. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Read. But mighty uh -huh. through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Now notice, it's mighty through who? God. So the weapons that he provides, uh, get that in your mind, they're mighty. Uh, any other weapons are not mighty. Uh, all other weapons, all other weapons are just that carnal and they're not mighty. Uh, so they, have, they don't have the ability to cause you to win in any battle. If you don't use the weapons that God provides, you'll lose the battle. Uh, you'll lose. Because, because the only weapons that uh, can defeat the enemy is what God supplies. So if you're going to come up against the enemy and fight in this warfare, you have to use the prescribed way that God, the weapons that God provides. Amen? Amen? Note, they're mighty through God to the pulling down of what? Strongholds. Strongholds, Strongholds are, are, are bunkers wherein the enemy has embedded himself to influence you. And he literally embeds himself to influence you 
in your mind. Amen? That's what he, that's what he goes after first. To, to get your mind. To, to, and remember, in the beginning of the Bible class, I told you what the devil, uh, his name means Diablos, which means penetrator. He wants to embed himself, to penetrate your mind, to embed himself in your mind uh, so that he can build a stronghold. And a stronghold is, is an embedded place, a fortified place that, that he occupies. The enemy should not be occupying any portion of our heart, any portion of our lives. All of our lifestyle should be turned over to the Lord. There was uh, one guy that uh, was telling me, and I immediately knew he was wrong. He said, uh, what I do at the church is my business, and what I do at my house is, is no, what I do at the church is God's business, what I do at my house is my business. Uh, that's a stronghold. Uh, that's a stronghold. That's a thought, a high thing. Amen? And that thought entered into his mind, and it said he exalted himself above God. Amen? Because, because all things are open and naked before God. Amen? In him we live and move and have our being. You follow me? Thank you, Lord. So, 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 the enemy can embed himself in your finances. He can embed himself in your relationships. He can embed himself in any area of your life if you allow it. If you don't put on this whole arm. And that's what he wants. And if the Bible says, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. The Bible says if, if you allow him a small portion, uh, you'll let and let until you be what? Let out of the way. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful. All right? He says, put on the whole armor of, uh, no, I'm sorry. The weapons of our warfare are not what? Carnal. Carnal. Read. But mighty through God. Uh -huh. To the pulling down of strongholds. All right, now, God, now notice this. I want you to see this as well. I, I want you to see this as well. The, the Bible says God's weapons uh, are, are mighty so that you can pull down strongholds. Amen? God's weapons are, are, are is his weapons of vast production so that if there's any area in your life that the enemy has gained a foothold, uh, you can pull that down. You can pull that down. Oftentimes, when you're in a battle, when you're in a fight, Generally, uh, we're talking about armies now. Generally, armies are into taking territory. Amen? Advancing. How that equates to us, we ought to be advancing and growing in God. Uh, taking territory, uh, uh, overcoming every carnal area of our life. You follow me? We have some carnality. Uh, we have some carnality. Uh, I'm going to say this. Bishop Quinn got some carnality uh, that I have to overcome. And everybody in this room have, has some carnality, if you're honest with yourself, uh, that you have to overcome. Amen. Amen? And the only way to overcome that carnality is that you put on the whole armor of God and walk in the spirit. Amen? Uh, you cannot, you cannot uh, uh, not do it by, by, by walking in the flesh. Can't attain it. Now, my point in saying all that is, is this. Is that uh, on this fight and in this journey, uh, uh, sometimes the enemy will get an advantage over you. And if you allow him to get an advantage over you, you've got to go in double fight mode. Uh, to pull down that stronghold. Uh, you see what I'm saying? So this scripture is written to let you know that if the enemy does get some kind of advantage over you in any area of your life, you got power to pull down that stronghold. Amen. You're not stuck. Uh, hallelujah. My God. Somebody teaching up in here tonight. You're not stuck. Amen. You can fight. Hallelujah. Put on the whole armor. Uh, let's get it on. 
Thank you, Lord. And, and pull down that stronghold. Amen? Y'all with me? Amen. Hallelujah. All right, read. What does it say, Keith? The, the weapons of our warfare are what? Not carnal. Uh huh. But mighty through God. But mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. So you can pull down strongholds in your life. Am I right? Amen. You can pull down carnal areas in your life. You can recover. Huh? You can recover spirit, uh, 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 carnal, carnal areas that the enemy has taken over. You can recover. You can recover. Read. Casting down imaginations. Now, now this is how you pull down strongholds. Strongholds here is referring to fortified opinions that the enemy has put in your mind that has exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Uh, things that things that God say you can, you say you can't. Uh, God say don't, you say I will. Uh, and, and, and you exalt those things in your mind so that, so that uh, uh, you do them or, or you're afraid, fear can get you, that's a stronghold. You're afraid to move out on God. Uh, so it, it, it has different legs and different ways of, of, of connecting with us. But, but, it's, but it's a high opinion in your mind. Amen? It's a fortified opinion in your mind, your thoughts. Uh, and, and so therefore, uh, the Bible says that you can pull down those strongholds. Read, what's it say? My God, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Read, what's it say? Casting down imaginations. So you can cast down those imaginations. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Right. Now, if you use God's weapons, mm -hmm. if you put on the whole armor of God, mm -hmm. you can't go to Stephen Covey's seven steps of right living. Huh? That ain't going to get it. You got to go uh, to Matthew 5, 6, and 7 of right living to pull down those strongholds and live that. Amen? Uh, you can't go to Zig Ziglar's uh, course on, on how to be successful uh, and think that you're going to pull down some strongholds. Uh, you can't sit under Dr. Phil. Uh, you follow me? And, 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 and be a, an avid follower of, uh, what's that, Oprah. Uh, you, can't, you can't do all of that. Read all the books that Oprah uh, 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 recommends you and uh, uh, in order to, uh, to survive this spiritual battle. You got to get down and dirty into the word of God. Hide that word in your heart uh, so that you don't sin against them. Amen? Hallelujah, my God. I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. That's how you overcome and, and apply that word to your life, your everyday life. Amen? All right, read, let me move on so I can get out of this. And bringing into in captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. See, that's, that's how you destroy strongholds in your life. You bring whatever thought that the enemy is, is, is trying to uh, bring to your mind into captivity. That means you subdue it. You wrestle with it until it's, it, it, you, you bring it into submission to how God wants you to think. To how God wants you to think. To how God wants you to think. You, you literally say, I'm going to let this mind be in me, which is also in Christ Jesus. I'm going to develop the spirit of Christ, uh, which is his attitude. And I'm going to develop the mind of Christ, which is through his way of thinking. Amen. There's a difference. Um, you got to have the right attitude, and you got to have the right way of thinking. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. I think that's it, ain't it, Dick? Yeah. All right. Let's go back over. Hey, glory. Will you be my reader for the day? Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. All right. Let's go back over to Ephesians chapter number six. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. You win it? You got it? All right. Ephesians chapter number six, and we're in verse number 11. It says, put on what? The whole armor. The whole armor. All right, so that means put on means you got to do something. Uh, you can't be spiritually strong by doing nothing. It's not just going to happen. You got to do something. 
Am I right? It's an action that you must perform. You make the choice. Amen? And if you want to survive, you got to do it. You got to put it on. Amen? You won't be able to overcome the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. You won't be able to come and be, with, be able to withstand the attacks of the devil. You'll always fall short. Huh? You'll never be a victor in any victory. <laughs> Hallelujah. By God. By God. By God. By God. You know, uh, the reason why I was smiling is because, you know, we have struggles in our lives. Huh? Everybody here has an area of struggle. Uh, and the only way to win in that area of struggle is putting on the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. Uh, that, that area of struggle that you're having is an area that the enemy is trying to penetrate and take control over you. Uh, it only takes a, a little leaven. A uh, leaven at the whole lot. doesn't take a whole lot. Amen. Uh, just a little area. Uh, of your life that the that the enemy will use against you could be in relationships could be in money could be could be in service could be in anything amen thank you Lord. anything that 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 is deceitful and anything that is desperately wicked uh, that's how the enemy operates could start out with you lying on your time sheet uh, thank you Lord that, that that you think it's no harm. Uh, could start out with you not even paying your taxes. Uh, thank you, Lord. Those, those little things. Uh, uh, in the enemy, uh, 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 the Bible says, the little foxes uh, destroy the vine. So you got to be on guard. Amen? You got to be watchful. You got to watch and pray. Am I right? Uh, because the enemy is looking for any avenue. Uh, if he can't get to you, he'll get to your children. Uh, you follow me? Uh, he'll use anything uh, to throw you off track. He'll keep you busy. Uh, get you doing busy stuff. Uh, anything that he can use to get you off track. All right? Now notice what he said. Lord, have mercy. He said, put on what? The whole armor, the whole armor uh, of God. Who, where does that armor come from? God. God. So you have to get that armor from God. Amen? Put on the armor that God provides. Read. That ye may be able to stand against the wild of the devil. Now notice, notice how he's saying that. That ye may be. So that word ye may be lets you to know that it's a personal battle. Though you're in the body of Christ, you're still in a personal battle. Amen? I, I can put the armor on, although we're connected, and, and, and fight. But if you don't put it on, you'd be like the vine. Huh? The vine that, that, that Jesus says, I'm the vine, and my father is the husbandman, and every branch that don't bear fruit is what? Taken away. away. You can be taken away. So this lets you know it's personal. Yeah, amen. amen? It's individual. You follow me? Amen. Paul is writing it this way to let you know it's a personal thing. It's an individual thing. Uh, I can be strong in the Lord, but I can't be strong in the Lord for you. Amen. Right. Uh, you can't be strong in the Lord for me. Amen. It's an individual thing. You remember Jesus taught us. He taught us about the five uh, 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 foolish versions and the five wise versions, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, and what was the problem was is that they all started out with oil, but the, the wise ones took enough oil to be able to last. The, the, the foolish didn't take enough oil. And the Bible says the bridegroom delayed his coming. And when the bridegroom came, the five foolish didn't have enough oil and asked the wise to give them some of their oil. And they said, no, we can't do that. At least we don't have enough. Huh? And the scripture says, in the end of that parable, they that were ready, what? Went in. They that were ready. Not me. Huh? I mean, not, not, not us in the sense of uh, 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 
collectively, uh, meaning they, each and every one. He that said unto me, Lord, Lord, uh, uh, I did this in your name, I did that in your name. He's going to say, depart from me, you worker of what? Iniquity. Father, it's an individual thing. So you've got to do this. Amen? All right? Notice what he says. He says, put on the whole armor of God that what? That ye may be what? Uh-huh. Now, now the devil, that word wiles there, it means his devices, his trickery. And the devil is a master of devices. He's a master at trickery. Trickery. <laughs> Tad tough. Uh, uh, all those tactics. Now notice, notice, that you might be able to stand. Meaning that, that when it happens, you don't fall. Amen? That, that, that you don't shrink back. That you don't die. That he don't overtake you. That he don't kill you. Amen? So that you'll be able to stand. You follow me? That's, that's, that's what you need to do. You need to stand. Toe-to-toe uh, uh, -to -toe with the enemy, if necessary. And fight and come out more than a conqueror. Amen? Using the weapons of God's warfare. Amen? All right, read D. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Now notice, he said we wrestle. Wrestle, uh, once again, uh, it deals with individual. Uh, wrestle means hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, we wrestle not with flesh and blood. Uh, 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 my hand-to-hand -hand combat is not against flesh and blood, meaning this, meaning this. We do fight against uh, people, but Paul is saying that your major fight is not against people. Uh, he ain't saying that you don't fight against people, because you got people that's gonna stand up to you uh, and give you a fight. Uh, but 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 that's not where your major fight is. Uh, don't focus on that. Uh, focus on your fight with the devil. Uh, hey, glory. Focus on your fight with the enemy. Amen? That's where, your, that's where your major battle is. Amen? Now notice, he's saying, uh, for we wrestle not, that wrestle means hand to hand. Close combat. The enemy comes up to, uh, against you closely. Uh, Y'all remember in the book of Job, uh, where the sons of God presented themselves, and, and the devil also presented himself. Amen? God said, hey, where are you going, man? Huh? He said, I'm going to and fro. Huh? And then God said, hey, have you considered uh, my servant Job? Huh? So, 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 so uh, the enemy, he's there. Huh? He's trying to seek whom he may what? Amen. He, and it's hand to hand. Because once he got the green light from God, he swooped down, didn't he? Huh? He didn't waste any time. Huh? Attacked Job's children, attacked his uh, 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 his his money. Huh? Thank you, Lord, and, and, and attacked his body. Huh? And then he also don't forget he attacked his relationship with his wife. Amen. All of that. Huh? Thank you, Lord, and and that was that was warfare. That's hand to hand combat. You follow me? Hallelujah. So 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 don't think that you're exempt. Anytime the enemy uh, is swooping down on you, he's, he's attacking you in multiple ways. Yeah. Uh, it's not just one attack. That's true. Uh, it's multiple attacks. Yeah. Uh, that's why the scripture says, count it all joy when you fall into what? Divers. Divers. That means many uh, temptations. Now, I'm going to say this. I am glory. Now, now when, do, when are you not tempted? Uh, you're not tempted. When you give in, uh, as long as you're not giving in, uh, you're still in the temptation mode. Uh, but but you got to make up your mind uh, that that I'm not going to go through with this, so that you can shut down the temptation. You follow me? Hallelujah! You got to shut it down. Tell your neighbor, got to shut it down. Uh, shut down that temptation. Uh, if you know it's wrong, shut it down. Amen. You know it ain't of God, shut it down. Amen? Now, that's how you know you had a mark of uh, maturity. 
When, when, when the temptation comes, you ain't sitting there pondering it. You're not entertaining it. Because, you know, the devil is a master deceiver. Yes. Huh? You got you to gotta go immediately to what is written. Huh? Ain't that what Jesus did yeah. when he was in that wilderness and being tempted of the devil? Huh? He said, what it is written. Amen? That's what you got to go to. That's, that's putting on that arm. Uh, what is written. Uh, so, so don't sit and ponder evil. Uh, because if you sit and ponder evil, the devil will dress that baby up and make it so attractive, oh, you'll lose your mind. Uh, going after you, go greedily after uh, Because he know, he know how. Uh, he know how to set it up. All right, now, let's move on. What does he say? But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh -huh. but against principalities. But against what? Principalities. Against principalities? Against powers. Against powers? Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Uh-huh. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now notice, uh, those, those principalities are, 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 are the rulership of the devil. This is his hierarchy. Notice. Uh, uh, against principalities, uh, against powers, so you know that the, the enemy has evil powers. Uh, witchcraft is real. That's why in the Bible it says, kill a witch. Don't be playing around with no witches. <laughs> uh, uh, don't be playing around with, with sorcery. You follow me? Soothsayers. They got one right there on 26th Street. Uh, uh, I, I, I wish they'll close up. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> right there on 26th Street. When you go down Pete, I ain't gonna tell you where it's at. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It's there. Right. You know? Thank you, Lord. Read the Torah cards and all. That's witchcraft. Yeah. Amen. That's that's dealing directly with the devil. Seances. Huh? Dealing directly with the devil. Trying to bring back the dead. Yeah. Dealing directly with evil forces and evil powers. Yeah. Amen. Notice. He says, he says against, uh, uh, against powers, against rulers of what? Darkness. Dark. Now see, there's rulers out there of darkness. Amen? Read. Rulers of darkness of this world. Uh -huh. Now, of this world, that means that, that, that Satan is the god of this world system. Amen? He controls this world system. Uh, every credit card you got in your pocket is controlled by the devil, operated by the devil. You use it for good. You follow me? You use it for righteousness. But the author of it is the devil. Satan. Huh? Satan. You follow me? Thank you, Lord, because if you ain't responsible in your credit, it'll shut you down, won't it? It'll cause you to get extended, won't it? Huh? And the Bible says, tell you to owe no man nothing but, but love. Right? God don't want you in an excess uh, uh, avenue of debt. Amen? That's of the devil. You follow me? Thank you, Lord. Ooh, baby, Pastor Quinn teaching up in here. Hope I ain't stepping on too many toes. Amen? So, 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 so now listen, I'm going to let you know something here. You can, you can have a balance on your credit card, but don't owe them. Pay, 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 pay your amount. Uh, if you pay your amount, pay your credit card amount, you know, you know, the amount that's due, maybe $100 a month, pay it. Uh, stay in good graces. You follow me? Uh, don't not pay it and go into default. You follow me? Be responsible. Pay your bills. Uh, pay, thank you. Who said that? <laughs> pay your bills. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Be on time. Pay that stuff. Amen. There you go. Because if you don't, you'll fall into the trap. The devil don't want you to pay it. That's why he tell you, no, nah, don't pay that. They'll give you a grace period. You just call them up. You know, tell them you have some hardship. Now notice, notice, notice how he worked. He said, call them up, tell them you have some hardship. So you don't pay it, that's wrong. And then when you tell them you have some hardship, you lie. That's wrong. Amen? You follow me? So that's how, that's how, that's, uh, 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 what's that old saying? Uh, uh, what a tangled web we weave when we practice to what? Absolutely. Don't walk around in deception. Amen? Thank you, Lord. All right, read, D. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. So, so notice, there's spiritual wickedness in, in high places. Places 
where uh, it can affect uh, your lifestyle. That's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to affect your lifestyle. Sis? When it says spiritual wickedness in high places, is it, does that mean it could be broad or is it just Satan's system? Yeah, it's, could it be like, I'm going to put it to you like this. Thank you. Could it be, you know how you have all these different religions. Right. And it's only one way to the Lord. Right. You, you understand? Absolutely. So Satan has to build up his kingdom. Right. To the people. So that's what I'm trying to, I'm saying like this. It's, it's all of that. Absolutely. Both both natural, oh, thank you for that. Both natural and spiritual. Yeah? Wickedness. Both. You know, like she said, the devil has a kingdom too. Huh? Thank you, Lord. The devil wants to be light as well, just not righteous light. So so you gotta be careful. Amen. You with me? Beautiful point. Hallelujah. All right, where we at? 13. All right, read, what's it say? Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Now notice, notice where it says. It's telling you that, that we're fighting against, not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. Notice what he says. Wherefore, meaning because of this, take unto who? You. Take unto who? You. 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 It's individual. Uh, it's individual. You got to do this. You got to put it on. If you going to be able to stand and withstand, you got to do it. Amen. Pastor can't do it. Prayer, prayer, we pray and, 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 and asking the Lord to bless you and you to be strong. Won't do it. It's something you got to do on an individual basis. Uh, uh, Pastor giving you the right hand of fellowship. Ain't going to do it. Amen. You being on the deacon board ain't gonna do it, no. huh? You follow me? Thank you. You gotta do it, Amen. huh? Hallelujah. Yes. Deacon Fields. I noticed that. Uh, ah, glory. I noticed when you like leave late to work, it seems like every bad thing you can imagine happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you hit every stop, every every light. Yeah. People traffic and get jammed up and stuff like that. It just seems like it'd be so much. Wow. Trying. Right. And, and, and I feel like, you know, I look Satan. I'll get there when I get there. Yeah. I just, you just give up. I say, I'll get there when I get there. And then it just seems like everything worked out good. Yeah. But but, but it just, it, there's forces out there. Forces? That, that we don't even know about. But there's forces out there. You have to be prepared for it. Absolutely. Wow. 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 It, 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 it can get wow. you. Next, you next, next. See, now you all in the Bible study right there. See, now he all in the Bible study right there. Uh, he, his word said, be prepared for it. Amen? You know the devil coming. Yeah. Be prepared for it. How do you get prepared for it? Put on the whole armor of God. Doing what you need to do in order to be prepared. Worst thing you can do is take a knife to a gunfight. Huh? Huh? Worst thing you can do. Follow me? Worst thing you can do is is not be ready. Uh, have you have you ever? Uh, now I ain't trying to step on those toes here, and I hope everybody uh, uh, has house insurance. You know, have homeowners yeah. insurance. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Now now that's being prepared in case of a fire. Right. Uh, now now we hope that the fire don't happen, uh, but if it does, you ain't gonna lose everything. Father, you have some insurance. Amen? God gives you some insurance. Amen? He gives you some insurance in case, uh, and in this case, the enemy is coming. <laughs> Every man's work is going to be tried to see what sort it is. And, and you know, while we're here, that's really what that parable means when Jesus said, uh, I'm going to show you a wise man that builds his house upon a rock. And those winds and those storms and the rain, it really represents spiritual attacks. Spiritual attacks. And the only way to overcome spiritual attacks is if you're founded upon what? The rock. The rock is the word of God. Amen? And, and if you're not, 
when the spiritual attacks come and you're founded upon the sand, and 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 what does it say it's gonna happen? It's gonna sink, it's gonna fall. And then it says this. I don't know if you ever caught it. It said, and great uh, was the fall of it. And the reason why it's a great fall is because they're falling from the kingdom of heaven. Your position, my God, I feel like preaching up in here. Your position in God is great. Uh, don't give that up. Uh, don't allow the enemy to steal that from you. Uh, the, the highest order or the highest position that you can ever be in uh, is in the kingdom of heaven. I'm uh, sitting out in the right hand of God with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, don't give that up. Don't give up your inheritance. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't give up your position. Thank you, Lord. Don't be like Esau. Uh, sell what you have uh, for a bowl of soup. Amen? Uh, Y'all with me? Hallelujah. Uh, Thank you, Lord. All right. Where we at, D? Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God. What verse is that? 13. 13, all right. Wherefore, take unto who? All right, take unto you what? The whole armor of God. Now notice, it says the whole armor. Uh, you, can't, you can't be half-stepping. I said, remind me of that song. Ain't no half-stepping. <laughs> you can't be half-stepping up in here. Uh, uh, we used to sing a song. My brother-in-law, he loved that song. He sang it too. Uh, uh, Lord, I'm running. What? Trying to make a hundred, why? It won't do, will it? Uh, you got to get a hundred out of a hundred. Amen. You got to put on the whole armor. And the reason why it tells you to put on the whole armor is because if you leave any of it out, you'll be uh, vulnerable to the attack. And, and don't fool yourself. If the enemy sees a vulnerability, he going to attack it. Amen. That's how he operates. Amen. And, go, and you know what I found out about the devil? The devil, when he's attacking you, he ain't looking for glory. He ain't looking for honor. Uh, uh, he just wants you to fall. Right. Thank you, Lord. And he, he ain't looking, you know, for uh, to get a pat on the back. Uh, he just singing a song, another one bites the dust. Huh? Uh, that's what he's singing. Thank you, Lord. Another one bites the dust. My Lord, let me bring my mind back in. <laughs> Uh, but that's what he's singing. Uh, thank you, Lord. He, he ain't trying to get no pat on the back. Uh, he ain't trying to move up in rank. Uh, he ain't trying to get no glory. Uh, he just trying to take you down. You follow me? By any means necessary. Uh, thank you, Lord. My God. All right, Deacon Fields. When I was in school, uh, my teacher told me, anytime you hear me uh, go over something and I mention it twice, it's going to be on the test. Wow. 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 They said it's going to be on the test. And yes. Paul is saying this for the second time. Wow. Wow. I like that. Wow. That's true, ain't it? Yes, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Amen. It's true. We got to take these things to heart. Thank you, Lord. All right, now notice what he said. He said, put on the whole armor of God. Who supplies the armor? Why? Because the weapons of our warfare are not what? But mighty through what? God. The weapons that God supplies are mighty. And they can pull down what? Strongholds. Amen. Casting down imagination and every what? High thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. All right. Read. That ye may be. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Uh huh. And having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. Now notice what he says. You got to put on this armor so that you'll be able to withstand, meaning that you'll be able to withstand his attacks. And then he says, uh, and having done all to stand. And that means that you don't. Uh, succumb to the pressure. You don't succumb to his attacks. You withstand his attacks and then you turn around and fight back. Follow me? Take a stand. Fight back. Amen? Thank you, Lord. There's a scripture that, that tells us that we should contend for the faith which was once delivered to the saints. 
That word stand is connected to being a contender. Amen? Withstand the attack, and then not only withstand it, uh, go on some offense. Father, just don't be defensive, reactive to the enemy, but go on some offense. You follow me? You take some punches. You throw some punches. You follow me? Thank you, Lord. Don't, don't be a whip. Uh, now, now, a lot of people, let me say this. A lot of people are scared to fight because they don't want to be hit. Huh? Uh, uh, people that don't mind being hit, they don't mind getting into a fight. You follow? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true anyhow. Yeah. Hang on. Uh, you don't mind getting hit. Yeah. You fight. Right. Don't mind. Don't mind getting hit. Because God is able to heal you. Yeah. God is able to deliver you. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm going to say this. People, some people are afraid to show love because they don't want to get hurt. Yeah. That's true. Huh? You don't want to get hurt. Yeah. But you've got to trust God that, that if I show love and I get hurt, that he'll heal me. That he'll deliver me. Amen. So therefore, you get into the fight. If you get hit while you're fighting and doing good, uh, trust God enough that he'll heal you. That he'll deliver you. Thank you Jesus. That he'll keep you. Amen. That he'll watch over you. Yeah. That he won't allow it to destroy you. Yeah. Huh? Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Oh, you got to trust God. If you say you trust God, show it by your actions. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Show it by your deeds and do what he says. Yeah. And, 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 and we sing a song. We talk about God is great. He's mighty. He's able. Huh? He's, he's my way maker. And all this other. You know, which is all true. true. You don't believe it. Just don't sing it, live it. And, and that means you're going to take a hit. Uh, that means people are going to step on your nerves. People are going to talk about you. Uh, people are going to do you wrong and dirty. Uh, but trust that God. Uh, trust that God. Uh, I said trust that God was able to heal you. Uh, ain't that with me, Shaq, Shaq, back in the big day, don't say it. They said it. I'm king. We ain't even careful to ask you in this matter. Yes, they huh? Then you gotta tell them, hey! You gotta tell the devil, devil, I ain't even careful to ask hey. you in this matter. Huh? Because my God is, uh, he'll deliver me, yeah. but, but if he don't deliver me, he's still able. Yeah. Uh, he's still able. He's still able. Uh, so if I go down, I go down believing. Yeah. If I go down, I go down trusting. Yeah. Uh, if I go down, I go down more than a conqueror. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Are y'all with me tonight? Hallelujah. Trust your God. Uh, trust your God that, that never lost a battle. Trust your God that's able to open the Red Sea. Trust your God uh, that's a pillar of fire by night and a cloud by day. Trust your God that's able to feed you manna. Hallelujah. Give you water in a weary land. Trust your God. Hallelujah. Don't worry about it. Uh, did he say I sent my word to heal you? Yeah. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, if you're in a dark place, didn't he say I'm the light? Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let him be God. Uh, let him be God. Y'all hear me tonight? Let him be God. Let him be what he said he's going to be. Give him the opportunity to show himself mighty. Give him the opportunity to show himself strong in your life. Hallelujah. So you can be the light of the world. So you can be a city that's set on a hill that cannot be here. So that you can be the salt of the earth. Hallelujah. Let, give him that opportunity. Hallelujah. My God. We got to do that. Uh, in order to do that, don't be afraid. Amen. Don't be afraid to take a hit. Amen. Don't be afraid to get your nose bloody. Amen. Don't be afraid that, that people are going to talk about you. Huh? Cut you out. Tell you all. So what? Amen. So what? Huh? And, and the remedy is if you uh, 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 pray for those that hate you, despitefully use you, 
<laughs> Am I right? Right. Uh, so, so you need some people to pray for. Right. Amen. Pray for them. Right. Amen. Do good to them that hate you. You follow me? Bless them that, that curse you. Am I right? Hallelujah. Right. Uh, take all that. Do that. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. My God. Don't, don't be afraid. Yeah. Amen. Tell somebody I'm not going to be afraid no more. Amen. Hallelujah. It hit you on one cheek, turn the other cheek. Amen. Amen. Uh, that, that means don't get revenge. Don't seek revenge. People do you dirty, don't get revenge. Yeah, right. It don't mean sit there and take a butt with it. Amen. It means don't, don't get revenge. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. They come up at you, you get out there the best way you can. You follow me? Uh, and the Pastor Queen ain't telling you to, you know, shoot and steal and kill nobody. But I'm telling you, you know, what that scripture means. Amen. That scripture means don't get revenge. Yeah. Right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Where we at, D? Oh, God. I got to move on. 14. 14 read. What's it say? Oh, no. Let's, oh, let's go back to 13. What's it say? Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, uh -huh. that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Now, un underline that in your Bible. Withstand uh, in the evil day. And that goes back to that word uh, Deacon F uh, Field said earlier, being prepared. The evil day is coming. Yes, it is. If, it, if it ain't came already. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You're going to have many evil days. Amen. I like that song. I have some good days. <laughs> I have some hills to climb. <laughs> You're going to have some good days. You're going to have some hills to climb. Amen. Amen. So, so, so in order for you to be able to last, to endure, is that you have to prepare and put on this armor. Amen? You won't be, if you don't put on the armor, you won't be able to stand. You won't be able to withstand. Amen? Amen? I can't make that clear. Thank you, Lord. All right, read what you say. Having done all to do what? Stand. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it all. Underline that word. I gotta do it all. Huh? You gotta do it all. Having done all, huh? Then stand. <coughs> Go ahead, sis. What's the difference between withstanding and standing? Ah, the the difference. Good question. Thank you, Lord. The difference between withstanding and standing is. Withstanding is meaning that you you the enemy is taking his shots at you and hitting you and it's not phasing you. Okay. And and standing means that you're not succumb to it and you're able to move forward. The devil is hitting you, but it's not stopping you from progressing. <laughs> you in the back. But you ain't shirking. Yeah, right. uh, you still showing up. Right. So it comes the scripture comes to my mind when Paul said he was at Ephesus. He fought with these, right? Yes. So he was taking those hits from the people. Yes. In other words, he kept standing and preaching the gospel. Right. <laughs> See now you make me all excited over here. But that's it. He said he fought with beasts, uh, uh, men like beasts in Ephesus. You know they, but they were trying to chew him up. Uh, he still kept preaching. He still kept teaching. He still kept showing up to the battle. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Both the enemy may throw everything at us. We still don't swerve from our responsibilities. We don't desert. We're not deserters. We don't. We don't retreat. Amen. Hallelujah. God ain't looking for you to retreat. He's looking for you to advance. Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't just time. Oh, well, the devil beat me, so I got to take a seat. I got to sit down. You know, no. That ain't it. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Put on that armor. Huh? Get in the ring. Keep on. The bell dinging. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go. Amen. Let's go. Let's keep going. You follow me? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This, I'm going to say this. This pandemic showed a, showed a lot. Yeah. Amen. Showed a lot. Thank you, Lord. Some people just stop. Huh? Some people still stop. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and for whatever reason, you know, people may have some legitimate reasons. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if it's not 
a legitimate reason why you stop. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Don't use excuses. Right. Uh, if you have a legitimate reason, I say amen. God says amen. 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 But but not everybody has a legitimate reason. Amen. 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 We all know that. Amen. Just sitting here on ourselves. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Skin for skin. Uh, they'll do they'll do what they need to do. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Y'all ain't ready for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Skin for skin, people do what they need to do. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, I'm dealing with a, a lady now at work. And this lady weary me. I'm trying to fight for her son. Uh, making me want to do uh, things out of uh, 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 making phone calls to, yeah. to help her son. Yeah. Amen. She's doing everything she can. Uh, uh, to, 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 to get her son in a better position. Right. I can't blame her for that. Oh. Amen. Hey, look, we got to do everything we can to get ourselves in a better position. Right. Uh, don't give up. Yeah. Don't throw in the towel. Yeah. Amen. Don't retreat. Don't back down. Uh, the Bible called the devil. He says he's a roar. He is as a roaring lion. Huh? Thank you, Lord. So, so his 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 bark, or his what do they say? The bark is worse than the bite. Exactly. Thank you. Huh? The bark, him him talking, all that, selling wolf tickets, saying what he gonna do to you if you do this and that. Huh? Huh? You say should say get behind me, Satan. Huh? I serve God. Huh? And if God allow it, I say Amen. But I'm going to go forward in the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I feel another spirit coming Amen. on up in here. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Uh, Deacon Fields. I say God wants to show you who he is. Definitely. Amen. He wants to let you know uh, when you get sick that I'm a healer. Right. He wants you to know when you have trouble that he can comfort you. Yes. You know, he wants you to know that... Uh, all these things that you're going through, when you need them, he'll be that present help in the times of Jesus. My God. Come on, give God the praise. Ain't that true? And he, and he needs somebody to show himself strong in. Now, the devil said that he go to and fro, doesn't he? Where do you think he get that from? God himself goes to and fro. Uh, to look to see who he can show himself strong in. The devil looks to see who he can tear down. God looks to see who he can show himself strong in. Amen. He's looking. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Is it, I mean, it's the scripture saying that God searches the heart yes. of men. Yes. Yes. Well, he says, he says Psalms about it. When he searches the heart, he looks down and he looks at the heart of men. Absolutely. He gives men according to what's in their heart. Yes. Absolutely. Ain't that beautiful? Thank you, Lord. So that's why we got to guard our heart. Right. The Bible right. says, guard your heart. Right. How? With what? All, All diligence. diligence. For out of it comes what? Amen. Amen. Because God is checking your heart out. He knows your thoughts from afar off. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. My God. You know, uh, I think there's a prayer in the Bible uh, that, that, that says, it talks about, I'm, I hope I'm right, I may be wrong. But it talks about, uh, Lord, even clean up my secret thoughts. Uh, those thoughts that, that, are, that are wicked and evil, that I may think. Uh, clean that up, Lord. Wash me from that. Uh, hallelujah. There you go. You can ask God to clean you up. Uh, from from, from that, from wicked thoughts that may come to your mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Man, this thing is real. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Where we at, Deep? What verse we in? 14. 14. All right, read. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. All right, now, how are you going to stand? The only way to be able to stand so that you can uh, withstand is you've got to girt your loins about with what? Truth. Truth. Uh, that, the, 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 the girdle there was, uh, Paul is going into... Uh, talking about the armor of a Roman soldier now. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the armor of a Roman soldier. So he says, 
uh, first of all, gird yourself. They put that girdle on. The girdle holds all the other armor in place. So what is he saying? He says, gird yourself with truth. Truth of, of the word of God. Amen. Amen. That holds everything else in place. Amen. You got to live by truth. Amen. Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. Amen. Uh, you can't, you can't, don't be deceived. Uh, deception. Don't allow yourself to be deceived. Uh, don't be willingly ignorant. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Operate in truth. And the truth he's talking about is the word of God. Amen. God's word, uh, the scripture, deep, go there for me. Uh, is it, is it uh, 2 Timothy chapter number 3, verse 16? Yeah. Maybe I should go there too. <laughs> Don't lose your other place though. We gotta go back. He got a big power. <laughs> Mother Louise, you got it? All right, can you read it? All scripture is given. All right, here we go. All scripture. Use your outside voice, Mother Louise. Okay. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All right, now notice. All scripture. We're talking about truth now. Yeah. Uh, it's God inspired, mm -hmm. meaning it's God breathed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Read. And it's profitable for doctrine. Now, this is truth. Uh -huh. It's profitable for doctrine. Doctrine is teaching. Amen. Read. For reproof. For reproof is meaning to straighten you out. Mm -hmm. Read. For correction. And, and now correction is it's a it's, it means to straighten you out, but it means to straighten you out in a in a in a, in a less in a less rebukeful manner. You follow me? Some children, you say sit down, then some children sit down! You know what I mean? That's rebuke. You follow me? Alright, read. For instruction. And righteousness. Now, now, God's word is given to you to instruct you on how to live a righteous life. Yes. That's true. How to conduct yourself uh, morally and spiritually uh, and in your character be correct. Amen? Read. Mm -hmm. That the man of God might be per perfect, uh -huh. and thoroughly furnished, to all good works. Now, that man of God means also woman of God. Man or woman of God right. may be what? Thoroughly furnished. May be what? Thoroughly furnished. Perfect. May be perfect. 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 All right. Thank you. That means mature. Right. Huh? Thoroughly furnished means uh, uh, able to handle every situation. <laughs> God wants you to be able to handle every situation. Yeah. Everything that comes upon you, amen, God has already provided everything you need that pertains to life and godliness. Amen. Amen. Every, every condition, every situation you come up into life is in this Bible. God made sure that he covers it. Amen. Read. That the man of God. That the man of God may be perfect. Uh-huh. Thoroughly furnished. Yes. Unto all good works. Uh, unto, uh, we're missing a word, ain't we? No. Perfect, thoroughly furnished. Unto all. Oh, I thought, see, I thought, I thought it said prepared unto all good works. But it doesn't say prepared, huh? No, okay. Thank you, Lord. God corrected me. <laughs> now, God wants you to be ready for every good work. Amen? Amen? Every good work. See, I know where I got to prepare for it because that's the connotation he means. Right. He wants you to be prepared for every good work. Amen? Amen. Ready for it. To perform any good work that's, that, that comes up against you, God wants you to be prepared for it. Mm -hmm. Daniel talked about, and in his book, he said, he got a word there he used, doing great exploits. Uh, God wants you to do great exploits. 
And what that means is, and this has to do with righteousness, God wants you to refuse the evil and always choose the good. Huh? That's doing great exploits with God in anything that you do. Huh? God wants you to resist the evil uh, and choose the good. Amen. And can we do that? Yeah. Can the Holy Ghost provide us that? Yeah. Huh? Can we choose this day whom we going to serve? Amen. Amen. Uh, refuse the evil uh, and, and choose the good. Uh -huh. yeah. Now sometimes that gets to be a fight. Amen. If we honest. Uh, sometimes it gets to be a fight. Uh, if you walk in the flesh, it, 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 uh, it's not always an easy choice. Uh, it should be. You follow me? Right. But sometimes our, our humanness gets in the way. Uh, so that's why the Bible says you got to deny yourself. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God on you, somebody. Amen. You got to deny yourself. Amen. 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 Uh, ain't no, though it may feel good, it ain't good. Right. Uh, thank you, Lord. May I, I you know, um, woo, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let's move on. Deacon Fields. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Oh, jeez, you didn't move on, D. You didn't move on. He said, therefore, gird your loins about with what? With truth. Truth. We talked about what truth is. Having on the what? The breastplate. The breastplate, it, protect, it protects your vital organs. Right? That's what a breastplate does. It protects you. That's that, that's that leather uh, uh, thing they put around themselves. Sometimes it's metal as well. Uh, uh, so it protects your vital organs. So righteousness, it protects you. Amen? Uh -huh. Doing things the right way, the godly way, it protects you. You follow me? Uh, Jesus, when he was uh, teaching in uh, uh, Matthew 5, 6, and 7, he said, he said that, 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 that blessed are ye when men shall revile you, say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Huh? Then he said, great is your reward where? In heaven. In heaven. See, notice, my name's sake, mm -hmm. mean righteousness sake. Mm -hmm. huh? If they said all that against you uh, for righteousness sake, you're protected. Amen. If they say all that stuff against you because it's true and you're evil and you're wicked, <laughs> huh? then, then you're not protected. Right. <laughs> right. It's a difference. Yeah. Amen? Amen. So, so put on righteousness. Walk in righteousness. Right, right behavior. Yeah. Amen. Anytime you see that word righteousness, think about behavior. Right. Doing what's right. Amen? It, mean, it literally means right wiseness. Amen? Doing things that are right is wise. Am I right? <laughs> All right, read. What's that? And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. All right, now notice. And your feet, uh, um, your feet shod with the preparation of what? The gospel of peace. So your feet represent your foundation. Amen? The gospel has to be your foundation. The gospel of peace has to be your foundation. You follow me? So you've got to know the gospel. You've got to know the gospel. The death, burial, resurrection of Jesus. And, and also what Jesus represents. The King of kings, the Lord of lords. Uh, the Messiah. Amen. Follow me? The, Amen. the prophet, the priest. Uh, and the king, the gospel. Follow me? Now, you got to know what saves the gospel. Now, notice. Notice what he says. Have your feet shod with what? Preparation. The preparation. So that means you've got to prepare. Prepare. Be ready. Study the gospel. Prepare yourself in the gospel. How beautiful are the feet of those that what? Bring good tidings, meaning the gospel. So you got to prepare yourself in it. Know it. Y'all with me? Y'all looking at me like I'm silly? No. <laughs> prepare yourself. Get yourself ready. All right, read. And 
above all. Now notice, notice what he says. Above everything else. First and foremost. Read. Taking the shield of faith. Uh -huh. Now notice. He said, take it. Take faith. Take faith. Take it. Take it. See what I'm saying? Take it. Take belief in the word of God. Faith is trusting and believing. Take it. Sometimes, sometimes we get in so deep that we don't believe. We stop believing. We have trouble with our faith. We struggle with our faith. Amen? So you got to take it. Take it. Huh? Above all, take that faith. Notice, taking, what is it? It's a shield. What's a shield for? Protection. Faith protects you. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, Paul is talking about a Roman soldier. They had long shields that protected them uh, from, their, from this part up. You follow me? Your faith protects you. You follow me? It protects you. You got to take it. Don't lose out on faith. Take it. You're in a dark place. Take faith. Believe God. You're in a rock and a hard place. Take faith. Believe God. Uh, the enemy on your track trying to turn you back. Take you some faith. Uh, take it out of the word of God. Take it. You follow me? I can't stress that word far enough. Take it. Why? Because sometimes it's going to be a struggle. So you got to get my faith back, devil. Give me my faith. Uh, you try to take, take my faith. Give me my faith. Uh, you follow me? I'm serious. You got to fight for it. You got to fight for this thing. You said, come on, I'm sitting up here sweating up in this. You got to take it. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Take your joy. Amen. Take your faith. Uh, don't be a jelly bat. Uh, walking around, not me, sloop footed. I don't know what to do. Take your faith. Hallelujah. You follow? Thank you, Jesus. One thing that bothers me when, when situations are going down, people are like, oh, I'm scared, I don't know what to do. Uh, and that bothers me. No, I get scared, don't get me wrong. But you know, don't allow your fear to make you uh, so paralyzed that you don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? You may not know what to do for a moment or two. But shake yourself. Pull yourself together. Have you ever been around people that's constantly worry warts? Huh? No matter what happened, they, they worry. Oh. My budget, I'm in over ten dollars. Whoa, I don't know why. And so I'm over ten dollars, ten dollars, man. Whoa. How am I gonna get that back? <laughs> you follow what I'm saying? You say, well, I will see you at I'll see you at uh, three o'clock. Oh well don't it's it's three oh five, they all nervous. Three oh three oh two, they nervous. We at, we at, we at, we at. It's something that ain't gotta be three o'clock. Two fifty nine. Huh. Where they at? You follow it. Don't be like that. All right, read, deep. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Taking the shield of faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts, darts of the wicked. All right, now, you take the shield of faith so that you can do what? Quench all the what? Fiery darts. Of the wicked one. Now notice, notice he uses that word. The fiery dart, it, it represents the intense fight. You know, when somebody throws fire at you, it gets, it's just got real. <laughs> you follow me? They can shoot a dart at you. But when they light it on fire, fire burn you up, won't it? Huh? Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and that's the fight he's trying to exhibit that it has intensified. Sometimes we get in intense fights with the devil, which is trying to fire, is trying to destroy and burn you up. Now, notice what quenches that fire. Not water, but what? 
Not water, but what? Faith. All right, come on there, somebody. <laughs> Thank you. Faith quenches the fire. When the devil is coming at you and fighting and throwing everything that he has at you, you calling him a green-eyed demon ain't going to get it. <laughs> you got to take faith and quench that fire with God. That's the only thing that will quench it. Amen? Faith. Your belief in God. Your trust in the Lord. Amen? Can't stop. Won't stop. Keep on moving. Walk by and not by. Sorry. Amen. You saved by grace and not through faith. faith. That's where your salvation is. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When, when you lose your faith, you're on that uh, uh, level to, to, you know, listen to anything. Absolutely. You, know, you, you're probably on a level that almost do anything. Well, yeah, I was going to say that. You're desperate. You're desperate. God don't want you to be desperate. No. David prayed, Lord, don't let me be too hungry. Huh? God don't want you to be desperate. Thank you. If he, the only thing God wants you to be desperate is, is after him. As the deer panteth after the water, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. Amen? So, so your faith is essential. Faith cometh by, yeah. and that by what? You got to stay in that word to build up your faith. There's a, in the Old Testament, there's a lot of scenarios that have been written because they're written for our learning and our admonition. Amen? So that, so that it can build our faith. It gives you a, a good understanding of the ability of God. God can do the impossible. Amen? And that's how you got to believe that God can do the impossible. Now, you got to believe that God can do the impossible through you. <laughs> Amen? Do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you're able to do what? Come on here, somebody. That's how your faith got to be. Amen? And, and God sent you something to build up your faith. And what's that? Trials. The trying, <laughs> the trying of your faith, it builds up your patience. Patience what? Experience. And experience what? Hope. And hope make it not ashamed. Why? Because the love of God is expanded in your heart. Thank you, Lord. By the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. We certainly thank God. Let's give God a praise for the Bible study on tonight. Thank you, Lord. And we thank God for those that are tuned in on today. Thank you, Lord. And we'll certainly be praying for you as you're praying for us. And you have an opportunity because it's giving time in the sanctuary. You have an opportunity to give through Tidely, uh, just find Tidely, uh, download Christian Ministries, and then uh, put in your information, and you'll be able to give electronically. And we certainly do thank God. Uh, coming up, we have our, our, our uh, April Council that's coming up, and it's going to be virtual. Just go on the Night Pain States Council website, and you'll be able to register, and all the uh, program is there. Uh, for your enjoyment. We certainly do thank God for you. May heaven smile upon you. And uh, we praise God for each and every one of you.